Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, it's Friday afternoon, so I've got some more gasoline in the mower, and I've just given it a nice little trim down around here. It's getting a bit hot because it's after three, and I like to do my I like to do my killing before noon. But um, I just done a little bit round through here. I'm gonna finish this off in the morning, morning time. Uh, but uh, just give you a last look on the bottom here before I'm going to add some more drone footage. What the fuck's that? Oh, the pole's gone. Where's the pole gone? There's a bamboo pole there. Mm. So I'll give you another little bit of where we are again and I'm going to put some footage up on the drone that Jason took for us the other day when he was here. So you can see the farm layout, how it goes along over here, down to the corner, across to here. And you can see it see it on the drone where it's all trees and then it's cleared where it runs up to there then it does a left hand leg it goes around the back area on that side and uh ah i can be it doesn't look so it doesn't look so big on the um on the drone when you fly across you know when you see the size of the house and the other i suppose it's a fucking big house isn't it yeah it's 300 square meters so i suppose it'd have to be fucking when you look at it on the drone i said to chick Geez, the property looks small. But I'll tell you what, when you're working the bastard, she's a big bastard. She really is. So Alfredo's with us today. He's doing the brush cutting up the back. We're pulling off all the tyres. We've got to get all this done. This is tomorrow's work. Down through here. Down through this side of things. Oh, God, I tell you. You have to get, you have to get a cold drink in me. Oh, Sasha, let her out for a, a squat. Do you have a squat, darling? Sasha, did you have a squat? Sitting in the sun, eh? Soaking up the sun? I told me. She is Miss Personality. Absolute Miss Personality, she is. Right. So, like I said, when you see the size of the buildings, it's sort of like um, the place looks smaller than what it is. But I'll tell you, she's a fucking big walk. Absolutely. Lots of little chickens hatched out running around on the bottom. I'm just going to wait till they're, they're finished hatching out. Sounds like Big Maria's little baby making a lot of noise just like a fucking mother. Hey Sam, what are you doing? You're a fat dog. Yeah, normally dogs are fatter at the shoulder. Your shoulders are the skinniest. You know that? If we'd done the weight on you with a tape measure, I think we'd be off. I think so, the fat bastard. I think so. Right, so I've just got the normal area in the front done here to on the ride on. Alfredo started off, we're going to go all along the fence line so we could cut all up underneath the fence line for me. And we lifted these ones up when we did it with Bob. We lifted these ones up so we could get the brush cutter up underneath, which um, I didn't do on the outside fences because I didn't want nothing coming in underneath. But being this one an internal, I wasn't really too worried about it all. I wasn't really too worried. But, um, hello Alfredo. Hello. Happy. Happy. So he's done under here for me, come out, I've just run one mower across it all. And that's um, Chick's planting area, he's got some more trees today for her. Some more trees today. He loves that brush cutter. He loves that brush cutter, because it's got a tap and go on it, he doesn't have to stop it and feed it in. He can actually just get right into it. And having the round button underneath for the tap and go, it leaves it at a nice distance. Have a look at that. Where if you use the old ones, which is just a blade, it's really, it takes it down to the fucking roots. You know, right down to the roots. Right, so I've just done all along the outside fencing on the tall. One mower around, plus here in our walkway path to the goats. Chick wants all this left for the goats to eat during the daytime. Because of an afternoon, she puts them way out here. Hello, baby. Hi. She puts them out here. Oh, one's come home already. Ah. Like, uh, but she's so full, like her belly is just full, full. So big. Ah. Not sure if she has, um, how you call it? She eats too much all the time. She's a pig. Uh, how you call? She's a pig, bloated. Bloated? Ah. Her belly is so big. Right, so they're out through there. So during the day they eat all this area here. So I've left all this long for chick. And of course they also go up to, up to the back area. Right, so there's your bearings guys, I'm going to put on another video now of um, 
some film footage that Jason took and he's going to go up over the back of the pig pen area and um, fly around our property up around the back property which you can see the old um, fish pond over here and you can see the cleared area the bananas all over that side Mary Lou's bananas over that side and the new piggery up on the hill and flying over the village so I hope you enjoy catch you later guys <laughs>